feeding the planet. Genetic manipulation has left 90% of broiler chicken unable to walk properly. This is certainly not the only shocking fact about animal farming. Today Americans consume more than 37 million tons of meat annually. In 2003, a scientific report estimated that industrial fishing had reduced the number of large ocean fish to just 10% of their pre-industrial population. The question is, would it be more efficient if humans only ate plants? And will our planet survive with such big consumption of meat? And will there ever be the same amount of large ocean fish as there was before? There are a great amount of issues with feeding the planet, but the main ones are factory farming, overfishing, and what kind of effects these two issues could have on the globe and humans. Factory farming accounts for 37% of methane emissions. Methane has more than 20 times the global warming potential of carbon dioxide. Factory farming has both environmental and ethical issues to it. But first, I will cover the environmental issues. Animals need crops so they can get their nutrition from them. Warmer temperatures may make many of the crops grow faster, but they can also reduce yields. However, higher carbon dioxide levels can increase yields. So for example, the yields for wheat and soybeans could increase by 30% or more if a doubling of carbon dioxide occurs. If the growth of wheat and soybeans and other crops would increase, there would be a lot more nutrition for the animals, and therefore more animals for humans to eat. But is it really that simple? Well, let me tell you. As you might already guess, there is a complication in eating, for example, cows instead of plant-based food. Imagine a field that produces wheat with an output of 100 joules of energy. The people who eat the wheat would get 100 joules of energy, but if we feed 100 cows with that amount of wheat, 100 joules of energy passes on to the cows. However, 90 joules of energy will get lost in the process of being a cow, moving, defecating and reproducing. This means that only 10 joules will be passed on to the next person who eats the cow's meat. Contrary to the plants that gave 100 joules. To get the same amount of joules out of the cows, one would need to eat 10 cows, which means that more, more space is needed to grow more wheat. And this would eventually lead to cutting down forests, which would lead to habitat loss for various species and also climate change. This argument suggests that it would be better if humans ate mostly plants. Also, the animals in the factory farms live in atrocious conditions. The conditions the animals are living in do not only affect them, but us too, as humans. On most factory farms, animals are crowded into relatively small areas. Their manure and urine are funneled into massive waste lagoons. These cesspools break, leak or overflow, sending nitrate pollution and drug-resistant bacteria into water supplies. Think about what you eat. By 1989, about 90 million tons of catch were taken from the ocean. Overfishing is becoming an extensive concern in the world. These following facts really show the problem that humans and the living things underwater are facing. First of all, global warming affects, affects the temperatures of water. As a consequence, warmer water temperatures are likely to cause the shift of countless fish and selfish species which might disrupt the ecosystem. One might not think that driving the car to work every day would affect the oceans, since they are so enormous. Yet, the oceans absorb 48% of the carbon dioxide we produce. One might also not think about where, the, where their fish that they ate for lunch came from, let alone how it was caught. A single fishing net can fit up to 500 tons of fish, or about 13 jumbo jets, as well as the opening of the net, can be as large as four football fields. Science and scientists try to come up with new solutions to save the ocean from such horrible thing as the fish becoming distinct. One way of discovering how many fish and fish species there are left in some parts of the ocean is by laying out a line that catches the fish. 
Afterwards, they pull the line up and see how many and what species there are left in the ocean, if any. The issue is trying to be solved by fish farming and marine protected areas. The problems with fish farming are at least the following two. Sea lice, and they are a tiny larvae of jellyfish. And they breed on fish farms and spread to the surrounding waters, striking other fish as they make their way out to the sea. Also, the feces and waste feed that contaminate pools and surrounding ecosystems. The problem with marine protected areas is that there are simply not enough areas protected. And even if there were, some people would still not follow the rules because the areas could not be guarded around the clock. In most factory farms, animals are crowded into relatively small areas. Their manure and urine are funneled into massive waste lagoons. And these cesspools break, leak or overflow, sending nitrate pollution and drug-resistant bacteria into water supplies. Factory farming definitely has a huge effect on the environment, since it produces so much waste. Also, many non-natural fertilizers and pesticides are used in farming and factory farming. In a healthy farming system, agriculture works in harmony with the natural environment. This means that the farm has to have a healthy soil that stores the water and nutrients and supports the plant's roots with a sa stable base to grow on. To have a sustainable system, the, sto the soil must be in balance. Crops would be rotated through the fields to replace nutrients in the soil. The waste from livestock would be used to fertilize the soil naturally. The point of whole sustainable system is that in the process of taking from the land, they would also give back to the land. In conclusion, the problems mentioned are very severe and they have serious consequences if we don't stop contributing to them. All these problems are however solvable. One does not have to stop eating meat, fish or chicken completely if one doesn't want to, but one can most certainly reduce the amount of meat they consume. And if everyone does this, it will add up. If everyone does this, it will add up.